and Peter Flynn from Bradford take on Jerry Belmosto from Bridgewater, Mass., and Lou Albergini Jr. from Bridgewater, Mass. This is Cattlepin Double. I'm Ed Harding, and welcome to Doubles. This is a marvelous time for all of us here because I have my bowling shoes on. I came into work today, and my regular shoes had snow all over them, so I have my bowling shoes on. See, so I won't ruin the alleys for you guys. You guys will be all set. You know the breakdown of doubles. You win money if you win. You win money even if you don't win. We pay you for three consecutive marks. We pay you for three consecutive strikes. I'll break that down for you throughout this next half hour. Great show I know we have for you. Take a look at what the good people at the Weeks Trophy and Awards Company are going to be able to provide our bowlers today. The winners will take home trophies. The losers will take home trophies. That'll be something for them to play for. I want to share a couple of things with you. As, as, I, as I mentioned at the top, Jerry and Lou are going to be challenging our, our champions, Bob and Peter, today. Take a look at, let's see if I can position this toward the camera. Take a look at their scorecard just to get into today's match. Now, they won the match. I'm going to lean forward. Look at that. A 176 and a 158 string. That's some pretty high numbers. And those are the numbers that have gotten them in today. One last thing, if you will. I was out covering a football game in Quincy, and a couple of people, a couple of lovely people in Quincy came up to me and said, which one is Skip Peabody? I want to show you which one Skip Peabody is. Skip has the, the green sweater on. This is a family picture with him. His son Adam, his wife Carol, and daughter Meredith. But Skip Peabody somehow has these three beautiful people in his family and him. All of his children look like his wife, but that's Skip Peabody. So Quincy, that's what Skip Peabody looks like. But you came to see the bowlers, so gentlemen, this show is yours. That's Bob Kelly throwing the first ball today for his team. And Jerry Belmosto. Bobby Kelly, the first to draw blood so far this afternoon, puts up a mark. It's the cumulative score at the end of two strings of bowling that decides who our champion is. These guys will start off. Nice 10. These guys will start off. Bowl five boxes and hand it over to their partners who will finish out with each string. And at the end of two strings, we'll decide in total pinfall who our champion is. This is Bob Kelly. This to Phil. The Phil is eight. Will it be nine? No, nope, the eight. First ball, second box for Jerry Belmosto. Nice fall. It's going to be nine. Will it be ten? No. Second straight mark for Bob Kelly. One pin is left for Jerry Belmosto to take a look at. But as you can see, three pieces of wood there. He has a very narrow channel right to the pin. If he can get it, he's going through the wood, and he doesn't get it. Secret here, if you missed the opportunity, come back and make sure you don't leave a pin standing, and he doesn't. A couple of tens so far for Jerry Belmosto, and a couple of marks for Bob Kelly. We've hit our, our first reminding point. Three marks in a row will earn this team 50 bucks. He's got two. Leaves the spread eagle. Fill it with four. It'll be tough to make it three marks in a row. Once again, third straight box. Jerry Balmasto does not leave a pin standing. Hasn't marked yet, but he's knocked them all down. Ten pin lead for our champions. Bob Kelly and Peter Flynn. First ball, fourth box, first string. Goodbye. Sayonara. Oh, 
We're looking at a at a breakaway in this match so far. Fourth straight box that Belmasto will go without earning a bonus ball. All right, in the fourth box, a strike for Kelly opposite a nine for Belmasto. So already the lead is in total pinfall, 11. And Kelly will throw a couple of extra balls to even stretch that. Here's the first of those two. Here's Wood around, and he uses it. What a nice pickup. He fills the strike with 10. Stretches the lead to 21 pins. What a nice 10. Boy, you've seen a couple of terrific shots right here in the fifth box. Great, great shots to go out in the box. That is it for these bowlers. We'll take a break right now, change partners at the back and finish it out. Kelly and Flynn through boxes scored of a 21 pin lead, but there's plenty of bowling left. We'll see you in a minute. Flynn and Lou Alberghini. Peter will be first to bowl, and he will be, as will both men. That's a bonus ball. Four horsemen, left side and the nine. Look at him low. Four horsemen, right side. Mirror images of each other. The fill was five for the Flynn Kelly team. So nine opposite of ten. First box for these two guys. It's the sixth box in the string. First string, 21 pin lead for the champions, Kelly and Flynn. The minute Peter flew through that one, he didn't like it because it flew. Got it with a seven go? No. Tell you what though, Lou is using so much energy as he delivers the ball that he's kicking the ball return. It's either gonna break his foot or the ball return. He kicks the ball return every time. Difference remains 21 pins. Right on. Will they all go? Ah, oh, the 10 stays. Lou's going to reset the concentration. That's the shot that he has, and that's the way the match falls right now. Total pinfall of 95 for Kelly and Flynn through seven boxes. 74. For Belmasto and Albergini Jr. We got a mark in the eighth box for our challengers, opposite a 10 for Kelly and Flynn. A lot of wood there, he can use it. Right on, got them all! That's a way to do it. You fill it with 10, you get a couple of bonus balls and you just cut it right down. That was a ball, that was a mark that Flynn would love to have had. He will not have it. Doesn't even go out with a 10, goes out with a nine. Now the lead is down to 11. And Lou, Lou, Lou has a couple of extra balls to throw. Now 
Actually, to be exact, it's down to 10 already. Total pitfall. There's Lou. First of two. Got them all! Wow! And somehow, Peter Flynn has to stand in here and take it and respond to it. All right, three marks in a row. He's earned the bonus money already. Three strikes in a row. We'll earn them even more. And Lou, Lou, Lou is not done, done, done. Pretty good, huh? All right, Kelly and Flynn are through the first string, and their total pinfall is 123. In actual pinfall already, the the Belmosto Alberghinis are at 114. Here we go, the first of Will it be three? No. But here we go, start filling. Here we go, start adding up, and here we go. The fill on the first is the 16, so they're ahead by six as of right now. Here we go. Tell you what, you turn a 21 pin deficit into a 16 pin lead. <laughs> the incredible Hulk has struck. Lou Alberghini has given his team a lead. I tell you what, I think we'll tape during the commercial to see what Lou does. We'll be back in a minute. Between the segments. So we go to the second string, and his partner, Jerry Belmosto, starts off. And that's Lou. <laughs> Well, if for nothing else, it'll be an entertaining 15 minutes, I guarantee. Not to be forgotten in all of this is what Bob Kelly has just done. It's not a strike, but it's a mark nonetheless. All right, Belmosto and Albergini, a 139 in the first string. Kelly and Flynn, a 123 in the first string. Leaves the spread eagle. That was the first of the two extra balls that Jerry has. Here's the fill for Bob Kelly. The fill is seven. Is it eight? No, it's going to stay at seven. Jerry Belmosto has an average of 124, a high single of 198, a high triple of 467. He will fill it with 10. He'll fill it with 10. He's marked again. Bob Kelly has marked again as well. I'll tell you, he has taken out the spread eagle, not to be lost in all of the energy that you are seeing here. I'm trying to rack this short brain I have. I don't know if I've seen a spread eagle go out. Bob Kelly has an average of 123, high single of 210, a high triple of 481. All right, the fill for Belmosto is seven. The fill for Flynn is eight. 18 pin lead for the challengers. Wow! How do you do? The seven is teetering. Will it go? No, it's not going to go. It's going to regain its balance and stay up. All right, three consecutive marks will pay the Belmosto Alberghini team some more bonus money. Kelly goes and takes out the 10. And Jerry Belmosto can stretch it from 18 to where? Just add on with this one. You can add on six more. 1 pin left for Bob Kelly. They're all around it. Strike, spare, spare, spare. It's been a terrific four boxes so far for Belmosto here in the second string. And now, needless to say, Bob Kelly needed it. All 
All right, barring a tie, this is the last box that Jerry Belmasto will bowl today. It's already a 24th in lead, and again, we're dealing with a bonus ball. So whatever the fall is, here is, add it on. Bill is six, add it on. I'll tell you what, he's a hot bowler. Can he make this? You see, that's the shot he has. Two in front. Doesn't matter. When you're hot, you're hot. You just plow right through them. Bob Kelly will put up a nine opposite the ten in the fifth box. They're doing forearm bashes out here the Oakland A's would be envious of. 31 pin lead for the challengers, and here's Lou, Lou, Lou. Whoa! There's Peter Flynn. Will they all go? No. Right on. Does he pick it up? No. The winners will earn 500 bucks. The runners up will take home 300. It's 50 dollars for three consecutive marks, and each is. We're going to hand out some of that money. Thousand dollars for three consecutive strikes. We had two at the end of the first string. A 10 for Albergini opposite a mark for Peter Flynn. Lou Albergini has an average of 124, a high single of 214, a high triple of 519. A combined score of 275 will also pay bonus money. This to Phil. From Flynn. The fill for Flynn was four. Peter Flynn has an average of 130, a high single of 208, a high triple of 482. <laughs> Lou, 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 by the way, Mark, Mark. This is a bonus ball from Lou, Lou, Lou. Oh, good. Maybe I can see two spread eagles go on the same string. Maybe I can see three go in the same string. Maybe I can see two go in the same string. I like the one that I saw go. It was nice. Okay, seven opposite and eight, and here's what the picture looks like for our teams right now. 32 pin lead for Belmasto and Albergini. Sitting in the driver's seat. I'll tell you what, that, that finish of the first string and the start of the second string. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if our camera's got it, but Lou did a leg kick worthy of karate. Poor Kifo keeps score here alongside, almost got his head kicked off. He's a very physical man. Who said bowling's not a physical sport? It's an interesting leave. I'll reset it for you. Remember, it's a 139 for this team in the first string. So far, a 128. How much is that? Quickly, Al. You're on the school board. Add that up for me. How much is 139 and 128? 140, 268, 275 pays. So uh, we're closing in here. They've got it. They're over it. Thank you. We got a guy on a school board, and he couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I'll tell you what, 
Just because we like him, we're going to let Lou throw another ball. Here we go. There it is. There it goes. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh all the time, but this has been a thoroughly entertaining half hour of bowling. Lou Alberghini and his partner Jerry Belmosto have beaten Bob Kelly and Peter Flynn. There's the bear hug between the Incredible Hulk and his partner. They win it by 40 pins, 283 to 243. We'll be back and spread out the money. And I think I got to wear an armor-plated suit to talk to this guy. We'll be back in a minute. Did not Lou said he liked the shoes, <laughs> but I'll tell you, when Lou's half hour, whatever he says goes. I'll tell you that. Guys, thank you for a great show, Peter, Bob. 300 bucks for runners up and a trophy to put on the mantelpiece and all of our best. Thank you for an entertaining half hour bowling. Thank you. Don't look so long faced. All right, hey. Don't, nobody likes to lose. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, but thank you. I appreciate it. Good hand for these guys. We've had a good run here as our champions. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you the Monica Sellers of bowling. <laughs> And all the grunts that she does on the tennis court, nothing compared to you. Congratulations. Nice show. I'd like to thank you, and uh, they're, they're real good champs. I just want to mention one thing. Go ahead. My father, 14 years ago, bowled against Peter on TV, and yep. Peter beat him by five pence. So this was sort of a family feud rematch. 14 father, years of tension is built yeah. up inside. It's, been a long time to get. I, it's <laughs> incredible how long you folks hold on to things. This is even incredible, too. 850 bucks for you guys today. Not bad, huh? Very good. Great Very good. run. Absolutely. You. you know what? It's nice, too. You pick it up. Uh, the eighth, ninth, the tenth box of the first string, and the first four of the second string, you really knocked them out then, yeah. didn't you? Well, we had to come back at them. They're a great team of champions, and uh, we knew what we had to do, and we did it. Well, I appreciate it. Great show, guys. How about one more loop?